left field. Down into the corner again. Benintendi near the wall. Leaps. He's hung up. Did he catch it? Oh, you got to be kidding me. He took one back. A spectacular play by the rookie. Hung up by the hips on the wall, and he brings it back down the left field line. What a sensational play. Sun starting to set now over Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the New York Mets and the Cincinnati Reds. Almost time for these two to square off right after this. Scott Feldman will be the one towing the rubber for the Reds. HR, what's the word on him? Well, Matt, he's really had a tough time his last three outings. ERA over nine. It's basically giving up a run and inning. He just has really struggled and not been able to figure it out. They're giving him the ball, though, and anytime you get the ball, you got a chance to turn it around. We'll see if today's the day he turns it around. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Weather not much of an issue tonight. A mild 65 degrees here at game time. Again, he sends it out of play. Here's another one, too. Hit back up the middle. Played on the backhand. Throw on to first will take care of Reyes, and that's how we get things started. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Who's the one to watch, Dan? Well, Matt, I can't wait to see if La Potencia, you know, when Cespedes can keep it going. Looking at his stats, I was really impressed with the fact that he's hit four bombs in his last ten games. Lately, he's been the guy to watch, and I think he's ready to do some more damage right now. Digging in the switch hitter as Drupal Cabrera. His career numbers against this pitcher, five for ten. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. I understand pitching carefully to this guy in the box, but the man on deck doesn't represent any relief either. He's going to have to go after one of these guys. Roll right back at him, and it hit him. And a nice job to stay with it that time and get the second out of the inning. Stepping up now, Michael Conforto. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs. Just underway here in Cincinnati. Nope. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, when you're behind an account like this pitcher is, it's a good time to work in something off speed if you're confident in it. Most hitters are looking for fastball. And there is our officiating crew in this one calling balls and strikes, Mr. Freddie Ferguson. Well, Ferg really does call a solid game back there. He does reward a pitcher for good location at times, but his reviews tend to be very good most of the time. Drilled right back up the middle. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw goes to Votto over at first. It's in time to retire the side. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. Now it'll be the Reds' turn. No score. Steven Matz, a left-hander from New York State, is the starter on the mound. What's your take on him, Dan? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Striding in, Jose Peraza, as we run you the numbers to see the splits between July and August. on the ground out to second backhanded and a flip to first from Cabrera in time for the first out time now for a look at the hometown red starting lineup card in this one H what are they going to have to do to force a rubber match in this series well, man I think the key is you got to get to this guy as a starting pitcher he gets stronger so I think the first inning is critical take away his fastball jump on him quick and take it to him because if you get too late in the game you'll lose this one Here's Billy Hamilton standing in. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. His stolen base total leads the ball club. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. 
hit out towards second. Cabrera's there. Throw gets him two down. Batting third. So striding forward for his first opportunity, Joey Votto, as he's been in a pretty good stretch over the last 10 or so ball games. Two out, nobody on. Hit high but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. The next three two. Hard on the ground towards short. Throw in time and the side is retired. Reds are down in order, and this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. So digging in now, Joanna Cespedes. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Two and one now to Cespedes. He's fallen behind now, three and one. 3-1 count to this guy. You don't want to challenge him right here. Don't give him anything to hit. No, no, no. Keep it on the corners. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. The 3-2 one more time. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Now a swing by right, but he got a little too far in front as this will find the seats down the left field line. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. And indeed, no look at second. He'll go straight to first and take the shoe out. And here's how the Reds line up defensively brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking at Eugenio Suarez. This guy came up as a shortstop, moved to third, so now he's got all those in his bag of tricks. He can play both spots. But the thing that's interesting about him, he's become quite a hitter. Most people thought he was just going to be all glove and no offense. Now we got a complete play. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. And a 2 2 sinker falls in there. 3 and 2 now. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early and probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but he may not get another pitch like that to swing at the rest of the game. Hard hit to the left side, but taken in out there at short. And that will become out number two. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. A breaking ball over the outside corner for strike two. Well, that was a curveball looking right there. I tell you, what, that was a nice curve. Just really frozen. Good breaking ball. Ready to deliver the 1 and 2. Hit to third. Suarez has it. Throw on Devado will take care of him at first, and the side is retired. Met strand one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Now in the box, Adam Duvall. He's not among the league leaders in home runs, but his total does top this ball club. Here's the one and one pitch. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Conforto is there. One out. 
Well, let's take ten. a look at the Mets defense Let's brought to you by Majestic. Jack. And in the outfield, oh, Joanna Cespedes, this guy's got maybe the best arm in all of baseball. It seems like every time there's a big moment or a big play, he comes up gunning and he's gunning guys at the plate. He is so fun to watch throw. Here's the one and two delivery. Grounded up the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Batting check. Now batting, Eugenio Suarez. Eugenio and he is proving Suarez. to be something of a non threat with a bat in his hands this year. The average isn't pretty. Swing and a liner. Foul. Still looking for our first hit in the ballgame. Nope. Hard sinker misses two and two. Hey, you can't let that bother him right there. This might be a good time for the catcher to have a little conversation. Just tell him, next pitch. Don't worry about that one. This is skied into short left center. And Lagares will look this one in, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go to Reds. We'll move to the third with no score. Here's Juan Lagares. First at bat for him in this one and he's got that average up over the 300 mark for the year. Into his motion here comes the three and one. And that pitch catches the inside corner. And the sinking fastball called strike three and that's out number one. So with one gone in the inning we'll take a look at where these guys sit in the standings and I think they can pretty much start to think about next year because they are well back in the division race. Stepping in Steven Matz and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. The pitch. That's in there on the outer half one and two now pretty lucky to get away with that one. There's not a situation ever where you want to throw a high changeup. So I think he'll try to make an adjustment with the next one he throws on to first and Feldman's on a roll now two away. Short stop number seven stepping in and ready for another shot. Jose Reyes 0 for one here in the early going Mets are still looking for their first hit of the ball game. Down the first baseline. That's a hit. The first of the game for the Mets. Here now is his Dribble Cabrera. Oh for one for him here in this one. As Dribble Cabrera. But right there is the second baseman, and that will retire the side. Mets leave one. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Stepping into the box, Ryan Rayburn, seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. And a curveball drops in on two, one, two, and two now. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. Batting eight. Now at the plate, Sean Zaraga. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. One one pitch, a curveball that's right there. One ball, two strikes. One and two, here it comes. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Two and two count, here it comes. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Another 2 2 offering. Hard hit ball to short. And the Reds have their first hit of the game. He's been on some kind of cold streak. You weren't even expecting him to get a hit right there. There had been a lot of talk about maybe benching him. Maybe that changes the conversation.
Into the box, Scott Feldman. And they'll try to stay out of the double play here as he lays this one down. The relay on to first, the double play, and the side is retired. Boy, oh boy. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. On now to the top of inning number four, and we are tied nothing, nothing. With Harold Reynolds, Dan Plesak, Matt Vaskersian, as Michael Conforto digs into the left-handed side of the batter's box to start things out. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. 1-1 one, one is a cutter that misses 2-1. and one. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12-10 to 10 and 9-8. to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. Well, that changeup right there sets up a lot of things. Now the count's 2-2. Two and two. He can come back in with a fastball, and it's going to look like it's moving a little bit better. Or he can go back to that changeup. The 2-2 two, two, one more time. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Never Thank tempted you. to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Well, he's been throwing the ball pretty well so far, but right here, three balls to the leadoff guy to maybe get them a chance to get them going. He's just got to come back, make them swing the bat. I'd rather see him earn his way on the base by swinging the bat instead of a walk. Full count, here it comes. And he finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. So with that, let's call on the guys in the graphics department to put up the pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And you can see there, both guys getting it up into the 90s, 92 and 94 respectively. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Ready on one and two. Oh, and he struck him out as well, so he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. Certainly not showing any signs of intimidation with these middle-of-the-order guys. That's back-to-back -back Ks, and the three and four guys are harmlessly back in the dugout. Digging in to try it again, David Wright. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Hit in the air to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Mets. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. And here's Jose Peraza. He'll lead it off against Steven Matz. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Sinker misses and it's one and two now. One and two, here it comes. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, batter, and that's just six, what they did right there. Builder, Big strikeout, Kelly keep that guy Hamilton. off the base path. Standing in now, Billy Hamilton. Liner towards second. And that's a base hit, one for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Well, that's a great example of just pure hitting. Switch hitter, takes the ball the other way. This is something they work on from both sides of the plate. Nice execution. In now, Joey Votto. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Runner goes for second. Line toward the alley in left center. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Hamilton rounds the corner and is headed home. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. Just some more of the same from him. He's been clutch all year with runners in scoring position, and he does it again here with a double. Tack on another RBI to his season total.
Into the box now, Adam Duvall. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Here's the shortstop, Zach Kozar, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. One run on three hits and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. And this is sent out to Reyes. This could be two. To Cabrera for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Reds pick up a run on the RBI double by Joey Votto. We played four. It's now one nothing Reds. And that brings up the catcher T.J. Rivera. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the pitch. 1-1 one, one pitch is a sinker taken for a strike 1 and 2. The 1 and 2 pitch. Hit out towards second. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out one away. An early look at the line score here tonight as we play the top of the fifth and boy just one lone hit for the visitors this evening as they've been taken to task by this starter. Digging in for his second at bat Travis Darno 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the windup the 1 1 pitch. Here's a ball swung on and hit high and deep down the left field line and this will stay fair home run. Travis Darno with the solo home run. Eighth home run on the season for him as the Mets have come back to tie things at one. Well, you really can't blame the man on the mound. He single handedly kept them in this thing. But with one swing of the bat, we're all knotted up. Things are officially interesting. And we're in for a good finish in this one. Stepping in now, Juan Ligares. And he won't even have to take the bat off its moorings. A four pitch walk here. Hey, three of those pitches were definitely out of the zone, How but that it? last pitch looked oh, pretty picture. darn good to me. Defense. You're not usually going to get many favorable calls on 3 and 0, though. You have to earn that spot. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Now a bunt attempt here. Flip to the second baseman covering now for the out. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He's one for two in the ball game. From the belt, the pitch. And a curveball that time that broke too low. You know, he was really pounding the strike zone early on, but he's kind of gotten away from that here a bit. He might just need a little reminder to attack hitters and trust his stuff. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Two out here and a runner at second. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Hamilton is under it. And that ends the inning. That strike for a run on this home run by Travis Darno. Middle of the night from Great American Ballpark. All even at one apiece. In now, Eugenio Suarez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The pitch. Breaking ball snaps in there for a called strike two. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Yeah, it really does, Matt, but this offense isn't helping him too much. It sort of feels like the next team to score is going to win this thing. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Boy, he's having a hard time just putting the ball in play right now. He took the hat trick with three strikeouts yesterday, and here's another one today. Looks to me like he just needs to simplify his approach and focus on making some contact.
standing in now, Ryan Rayburn. That's on the corner to put him behind now, one and two. One run on three hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Good hard sinker, but he lays off to even things at two and two. And he holds off on the breaking ball, so the count runs full. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That will look like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. Well, he's been on a bit of a cold streak, okay. and he gets a base hit there. That's the kind of hit. He didn't hit it hard. This is one of those that you need to get in the hit column. This is a good jump start for him. Ready for another chance? Sean Zaraga. He singled his last time up. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. The 2-1 and one on its way. Now a hard liner towards short. And that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year. But you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Into the box, Scott Feldman. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Well, you got two runners on scoring position, one out. Good thing, you got the pitcher at the plate. You gotta attack him just like a normal hitter. You can't give in right now. Uh, not only will they get the out at first, but both runners stay right where they were. Well, if you're gonna bobble the ball, you have to hope it's when a guy is lumbering down the base pass. He's no speedster, so that was a good job to stay calm and make the recovery throw. And here's Jose Peraza. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. Good take right there. He's given him a great battle with guys in scoring position. We'll see who's going to win this duel. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And another foul ball. Another one sent foul. Another try at 2-2. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Ligaris is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Red strand a couple. We played five full, tied at one aside. Digging in to try it again as Dribble Cabrera. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 13 for him on the year, and the Mets move out to a 2 1 lead. Well, when it left its bat, I didn't think it had the height to even clear the fence. Shows you how much I know. That thing was a laser shot that just kept going and going and going. Wow, that was impressive. And now the Reds are going to get the bullpen moving here, and it's a lefty and a right-handed up and throwing. Into the box now, Michael Conforto. In there, one and two now. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. No outs, nobody on. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. 
on to first. So a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A cold strike on the inside corner. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. This one's down to third. Throw in time at first for route number two. The third baseman, number five. Ready for David another Wright. shot now, David Wright. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. The pitch. Good looking sinker on the inside corner. Well, he gave up that leadoff home run, and I thought, uh oh, he's in trouble. But he's done a nice job bouncing back. Got two quick outs, and now he's got two strikes on this hitter. He's got a chance to get out of this. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. The Mets do pick up a run on this solo shot. On to the bottom of the sixth. It's now two to one, New York. Riding in once again, Billy Hamilton, a hit in two tries so far. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. On the ground to third. Great effort on the dive, but it's through into left. So it's a ground ball single to left for him here, his second hit tonight. And as we check out our red leaderboard, we find that he currently sits third best on the club in that department. Digging in and looking for more, Joey Votto, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. And it looks now like a right-hander's begun to get loose in the Mets' bullpen. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more pitch to contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far, and the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count now, down. Right fielder, Ready once again, Adam, Adam Duvall. Duvall. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Low scoring game thus far, 2 to 1 here in the sixth. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. On the move is Ligares. Two down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Ready for another chance? Zach Kozart. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. In for strike two. Well, he's done a great job on the hill throughout this game, and it's something to be proud of anytime you can pitch a good game in this ballpark, especially when it's not your home ballpark. Not in time as he's able to thwart the pitch out. I'm not sure what else the defense could have done there. They pitched out, and the throw was pretty good, but they still couldn't cut him down. You kind of just have to hope he gets a bad jump. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Sinker, 3-2 and two now. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on 3-2 and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Eugenio Suarez. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Eugenio Suarez. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Offers it that one a little late, and it's two and two now. Hot shot to third. And a sliding try there at third, but it skips by him. A base hit. And not in time as the run scores. Two out, two strikes, down to the last strike of the inning, and he's able to hang in there and drive the ball for a base hit. Good job of battling right there. And a surprising intentional walk here as that will now load the bases. 
Up next for Cincinnati. Catcher. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Sean Zaraga. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. Well, now here comes the Mets manager Terry Collins on his way to the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. Your attention, so he'll leave in a tie ball game but he's also for responsible for the three men on base and he'll need some big time help here to preserve a no decision. Hansel Robles answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam but needs just one out to get out of it. Two out bases loaded. One one pitch and a nice call for the change. It's one and two. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Swing and a little blooper to center. Coming in is Ligaris. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. It's a run on two hits here for Cincinnati. Seventh inning coming up, and we are tied 2-2. Back here at Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati. All tied at two apiece as we get set to start the seventh. But before we do, let's have a look at our game summary through the first six. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Your Blake Wood plate. will come on now and he'll slide into the Cincinnati. seventh spot in the lineup following the double switch. Spot. Number Tony 36. Renda is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot hitting ninth now on the double switch number 49 at the plate T.J. Rivera it's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point now the pitch and he misses two and one two one. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Here's the pitch. Change up misses and it's full three and two. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking guys. So we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. That's a pretty sad attempt at hitting a baseball right there. No doubt he was completely fooled because that was a curveball and it looked like he was late on a curveball. That tells me he gave up on it right till the very end and obviously there was nothing he could do at that point. And now a right hander's begun to loosen up in the Cincinnati bullpen. The set and the 1 1 pitch. Looks at a changeup that catches the corner. Faces are empty, one man out. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance into the upper deck and gone. A solo shot here to left his second of the game and it's given the Mets a three two lead. You can see that he was dialed in on his curve from the second he released it. He saw the spin, knew it was coming back over the plate, and just crushed it. He was tracking it all the way. Stepping in now, Juan Ligaris, and he puts it on the ground to second. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. 
the pitcher number 47. Hansel Matt Garrett Reynolds will grab a bat and, and hit for the for pitcher the here. Number 15, Matt Reynolds. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit on the ground out to short. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. So only one hit in the inning on the solo shot, but it's enough to push him out in front. Stretch time now here in Cincinnati. It's the Mets three and the Reds two. Rafael Montero gets the now call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Rafael Montero. Tony Renda steps into the box. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. Fouled straight back. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Popped up. Cabrera is there. Makes the play one away. The batter number nine. And here's Jose Peraza. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. Ready on one and two. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Very tight ball game. Three to two our score in inning number seven. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Oh I know he'd like to see that pitch again just out in front of it just wasn't able to keep it fair but he saw it pretty good. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat so we'll have to do it again still two and two. Here's another two two. Weakly hit to third. On to first and a good stretch over there is going to get him by a step for the second out. Now that's a gold glove caliber play there. You got that right Matt. There is a lot of moving parts on that barehanded play and it is a thing of beauty when everything comes together just like it did. You can bet he'll be watching this one again after the game. In now Billy Hamilton. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Reds are down in order. They trail three to two. Jumbo Diaz has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Jumbo Diaz. Digging in once again, Jose Reyes. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Ooh, good change up. Just missed inside. Can't find the zone there, and it's 3 and 1. That one missed, but if it's a strike, I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. You have to really be sitting on it to hit a fastball coming in that hard on the inside part of the plate. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. As Dribble, as Dribble Cabrera will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle inning. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ball game to this point. This one, everything we could have hoped for. Three to two in inning number eight. Here's a look over to first. And the runner will get back standing. And the pitch on two and one. Shin high fastball that time, ball three. Three and one, here it is. Leaves a change up high for a strike. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a change up. And there goes Reyes. Line toward right center. 
And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Reyes is on his way home. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. In to score is the runner from first. Well, that base hit right there gives him two-run cushion. When you have a two-run cushion late in the game, you got to feel pretty good about yourself. Into the box, Michael Conforto hit sharply on the ground. Throw to first is in time for the first down. The left fielder, number 52. Here's the left fielder, Yoannis Cespedes. Cespedes. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Renda looking up. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. It's a two-run shot here for Yoannis Cespedes. 32 now for the season as they open it up to 6-2 to two now. Yeah, and that home run is an absolute backbreaker. You still have some baseball left to play here. But with the four-run lead, it could be a non-save situation. So they might get the rest of their closer the rest of the day. Four runs feels awfully good. Drew Storen gets the call as he'll pitch with one gone in the top of the eighth. Into the box now, David Wright. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Here it is on three and one to third. Pro to first is in time to take care of right, and that's the second out. The batter. And that brings up the catcher, TJ Rivera. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here's the one and one pitch. Looks at a two seamer right down the middle. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. Throw goes to Votto over at first. It's in time to retire the side. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. Bottom of the eighth coming up. It's the Mets six and the Reds two. Stepping up to the plate, Joey Votto. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. A good knee-high changeup taken for a strike. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 1-2. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to 2-2 two and two now. Swing and a hard hit ball down the line in right. And this will find the wall now over near the 325 sign. I know it's getting late in the game, but that is a big leadoff hit. Maybe now, now they can start to close right that gap. Together, Adam Duvall. Digging in. Adam Duvall, 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. Here it comes on 1 and 1. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Well, with the leadoff man getting on right there, Matt, they are falling so far behind, they have to capitalize. They have to get some runs to get back in this thing. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Hard ground ball to third. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. Well, that's another single, another hit. Now they are first and second. They just haven't come up with that big hit to drive a lot of runs in. They've got to break things open pretty soon. Oh, 
also striding in Zach Kozart. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. First and second here with nobody out. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. And this one will be out of play off to the left. Here he comes again, one, two. Now a little flare out to left, and that ball's going to drop. A base hit. Votto rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he will score ahead of the play, and that'll cut things to 6-3 now. Oh, they're playing small ball this inning, Matt. Back to back to back singles. Eugenio Suarez. Standing in now, Eugenio Suarez. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it towards the backstop. The one and two pitch. Swing at a high pop drifting into foul territory. Rivera near the first base bag, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Scott Shepler will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 43, Scott Shepler. First and second now, one man out. And here's a ball hit in the air. Conforto sprinting after it. He makes the running play. Two down. Now batting. Stepping up now, Sean Zaraga. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. And this is heading for the seats and out of play to the left. Here comes another 0-2. Nope. 0 2 is a fastball that misses inside. One and two now. Oh, he lifts a high pop up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. Rivera will put this one away, and the side is retired. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Mets six and the Reds three. The genius of water, as it's known, just blocks from us here at Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati. Tony Singrani enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Travis Darno will get another shot at it here as we take you back to inning number seven. This was his second home run of the ball game as he'd like nothing more than to make it three right here. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. A fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. Here's the pitch. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. Zaraga gathers, and he makes the throw to first. Darno is retired, and there's one away. Here's Juan Lagares. Fourth trip to the plate for him, and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, chances are it's on his mind, Matt, but you just have to let that get out of the way as best you can. You have to approach this at bat just like any other. Otherwise, you're just getting in your own way. A little bit outside. Two and one. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you could hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. This is line to left. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three game so far. So he waited till the ninth no, inning, but he comes through Petra. here to extend the hit Rafael streak. That was close. Montero. Well, you can tell he's got ice water in his veins. No pressure. He gets up there in the ninth with this streak going and delivers. Brandon Nimmo will get the call Brandon here as he'll hit match. for the pitcher. Number nine, Brandon Nimmo. Let's turn two. Wait. 
That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Looked like he was trying to work in a front door curveball there, but it seemed like it popped out of his hand a little early, causing it to miss inside. Grounded to third. This could be two. To second for one. On to Votto, a double play, and that ends the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. A.J. Ramos, play. if the man now called on to close York, this one and earn a save in the ball. night. A.J. Ramos. Now at the plate, Tony Renda comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. A ball and two strikes, here's the pitch. And a foul pop behind the plate. And he'll lunge forward to make the catch for the first out. The at the plate, Jose nine. Peraza, both for four with a strikeout Jose thus far. Peraza. He's set. Here comes the 1-1 one -one down the third baseline. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. He'll try again, 1-2. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here and it remains one and two. Another one two delivery line towards center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Well a lot of people are going to say that's a nice single right there. Maybe a little bit too well, late. He's over four before that. Builder. The team's getting beat. Billy. They're going to point the finger and say he's been a big part of their losing today. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in, head to head against A.J. Ramos. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And the changeup just missed the inside corner. Runner at first here, one man out. On the ground, up the middle. To Cabrera for one. On to first, not in time, as the umpire was right there to make the call. No real chance from the roll two that time. He's just too quick coming out of the batter's box. You basically have to make a perfect turn on a hard hit ball to double him up. Now they need to keep an eye on him over at first. In is Joey Votto now. He's doubled and singled in four at-bats in this contest. One and one, here it is. Hit hard on the ground at first. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, Matt, that was a huge at bat. He gets the single right here. There's two out in the ninth, and it brings the tying run to the plate. Stepping in now, Adam Duvall. In the dirt. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. From the belt, kicks and deals. And there's a swing and a miss, so the Reds are down to their final strike. He swung so hard, I don't know how he stayed on his feet or kept his helmet on. I'm surprised he didn't fall down he swung so hard. What a big swing. Well, he's out in front of that breaking ball right there. Not surprised. That was after that fastball. Nice job of pitching. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. Well, the skipper has to be pleased. They go on the road and win the first two of a four-game set, playing for the sweep tomorrow. And tonight's comes to an end, 6-3 to three, the final. The Mets get the win on the heels of four home runs. Hansel Robles wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. A.J. Ramos hammers down the save, his 30th. So that's a wrap here tonight. Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Facebook at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Six runs, eight hits, no errors. They left four men on base. Drake delivers as a drive to right field, hit deep. Back by the bullpen gate, it goes, and it is gone! 
Stubbs, the right fielder, jumped and couldn't get it just to the right of the 380-foot marker. David Ortiz ties Mickey Mantle with his 536th home run. 10-2 Red Sox.